So here we are. We have 10 inch and 8.5 inch Xiaomi M365 tires. And our test number one will be to see how quickly can I take off the tire and put it back on. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. And we're done. I don't even want to start with this one. This will be a pain in my... But what you gonna do? Alright. 3, 2, 1, go! Yay! Alright, so the second tower has a... Inner tube has a lot of... Tearing damage here, and I don't know if that's from the mounting process, but at the same time, as it was loaded with slime, you can see easily find the, that was the puncture here where slime was coming out, but didn't seal it completely. So now I need to put it back in the position where it was and find where was the puncture coming from and you can see this hole and you can see there is something inside it still very sharp rocks I don't know if GoPro can zoom in but whenever it's raining things like that is what uh, gives me punctures 90% of the cases alright so now we are at this magic moment when we will try to put the tire back in so again we start with 10 inch and this will be way more tricky so I will use some grease Done Even though it took me 3 times more time to mount the 8.5 inch tire, I'm quite happy with the final result. I will load both tires with slime and proceed to my next test. Alright, next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that both scooters have the same firmware. I will base my firmware on 1.3.8, I will remove the critical emergency regenerative speed until it reaches 35. The maximum speed in normal mode will be 35 km an hour just for testing purposes and the speed in eco mode will be set on 25 km per hour. Motor starting speed will be uh, 1 km per hour and uh, power constant set to 38,000 so I'm adding a bit power to, uh, compared to the stock one. Cruise control delay 1.5 seconds, instant mode switch yes, boot with eco mode yes, I like it, uh, we don't touch the battery voltage limit, the Russian throttle algorithm. We remove the hard speed limit of 35 and I do not change the wheel speed multiplier. And the reason I do so, I want to test how would it look the scooter with 10 inch tires if you cannot flash the firmware. Assumably the controller will calculate the Speed, for instance on eco mode to be 25 but with 10 inch tires you will go faster but let's try it in the reality and see if that works all right eco mode 8.5 inch let's see our max speed Funny enough, I set it on 25, but if you look at GPS, it's not going more than, what is it, 20, 21, 
Okay, so we got like 23, mainly 22. There is a difference as it should be in theory. Now just for fun, let's see if Xiaomi app is showing it differently. Now just for fun, let's see if Xiaomi app is showing it differently. So when you make a custom firmware, you need to set your desired speed higher if you want to reach it in the real life. All right, now we'll do the same with 10-inch tires. Should reach more with 10-inch tires in theory. It looks like it works like it should. You get around 2 km per hour more if your speed limit is set on 25. This could be used as a speed hack for people that for any reasons cannot change the firmware of their M365 scooters. So you just install 10 inch tires and you go to kilometers per hour faster. 3, 2, 1, go! What I'm doing here is my test 3 and this is acceleration test. I want to see if 10 inch tires are accelerating as fast as 8.5 inch tires. I did it five times with each scooter and here are the results. I did this test on both scooters being charged to 100% at the same place on the same road and I did all the accelerations in exactly the same place. While I know it's not a scientific test, I just wanted to prove my feeling that 8.5 inch wheels feels like accelerate a little bit faster and numbers kind of confirm that, which it also makes sense, right? And the final test I did was a long range driving test around my hometown. It was pretty cold, it was plus 4 degrees and I was freezing to death. But I took both scooters one after another and went full throttle basically all of the time. I ridden it in real life conditions going over different surfaces and so on just to feel how the scooters ride and also to see how much the battery lasts if I go completely the same route. Uh, so uh, I was saying, I need to finish this strange test before I die from cold. Okay, let's see how bumpy this is. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. All right, so. I'm convinced 10 inch wheels go a thousand times smoother over the bumps. Okay, this is so much easier on 8.5. Oh my god. And here are some final stats. So you can see I went exactly the same distance, closely in the same amount of time and my 10 inch scooter reached maximum speed a little bit higher i guess there is a one place where it goes a little bit downhill so i could reach 40 actually measured by gps now if you look at the battery levels 8.5 inch scooter used less battery meaning you can drive further going on full speed and that can be explained by scooter trying to reach the maximum speed all the time with 10 inch tires is working harder it's actually a little bit proven also by the temperature of the scooter after I just finished the ride. You can see it's a little bit warmer on 10 inch. So is it worth to upgrade your scooter to 10 inch tires? Well, if you ride amongst the cars or people and you need a very maneuverable scooter, you want to accelerate faster and be able to stop faster, don't upgrade it to 10 inch. Now if you constantly go full speed and you don't need that maximum battery life but you enjoy going smoother over the bumps, taking like high speed turns, 
then I would go with 10 inch tires. As a side benefit, it will be easier to replace the tires after you get puncture. And it also can be used as a speed hack if you cannot downgrade your firmware or change your firmware. So installing taller tires will give you around two extra kilometers per hour in a cost of a battery life. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't like the video, press the thumbs down button and please let me know in the comments what didn't you like, so next time I can improve. Thank you for all of my supporters and subscribers. I am, will be traveling right now for a week or so, so I might not be able to answer my comments as fast as usual. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one.